Create this warm, soft glam look perfect for any occasion. I've already moisturized my skin and now I'm starting with a face primer. I'm just taking a small amount and applying that all over my face, mainly in the center. Now with my foundation and a damp sponge, I'm just applying the foundation all over my face starting from the center and going out. With concealer, I'm placing it under my eyes and a bit on some of my blemishes and with a clean finger, I'm just blending that out. Next, take your contour palette and a face brush and add some shadow to under your cheekbones, sides of your forehead, your jawline as well as the side of your nose. Now take your blush along with a blush brush and apply some blush on your cheekbones. Time for the brows. I'm taking a spoolie and brushing it through to make sure I get foundation off of my brows. I'm starting the center of my brows and with very light strokes going outwards and then going inwards and doing some very light strokes and then taking the spoolie and brushing it out to make it look natural. Now prime your eyes and get ready for eyeshadow. For eyeshadow palette, we're using the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette. And I'm taking a fluffy brush and going into the shade Sauced and applying that all over my eyelid, making sure it's blended well. Then I'm just taking that same color again and going over it the second time just to the outer corners to make it a little darker. Now I'm going to take the color called Lumber and I'm just going to apply that on the outer half of my eyelid. Now with a small, dense, fluffy brush, I'm taking the color He Devil and I'm placing that right on the outer corner of my eyes and lightly blending that out. Taking my clean finger, I'm going into the lightest shade in the palette and I'm placing that right on the inner corner of my eyelids and lightly blending that out a little bit. Using my finger again, I'm going to the shade Lumber and just applying that to the center of my eyelid. See how it goes from light, medium, dark? Now taking a dark brown gel eyeliner, I'm going to use my hand and place one hand next to the eyelid to hold the skin taut. And then the other hand, I'm going to line my eyes. I have hooded eyes, so doing this helps me create a smoother, flawless line. Make sure you step back and look straight in the mirror to see if the eyeliner is still visible and then adjust as necessary. Now I'm just taking an eyeliner brush and smoothing out my eyeliner. Then I'm also lining the lower lash line, going from the outer corner and stopping halfway and taking the brush and smudging that line to soften it. Now with the eyeliner brush again, I'm going to the deepest dark brown shade and I'm placing that right on top of our eyeliner this is to set the eyeliner in place to keep it from moving around. Now I'm taking the shade He Devil and I'm going to place that on the lower lash line. And lastly, I'm going to take Lumber and just place a little bit on the center of the lower lash line. For mascara, I'm using the Extra Volume Curl from Neogen. I love how this wand has a very tiny little metal applicator and it gets right into the small little grooves of my eyelashes. With my clean finger, I'm just wiping off excess mascara so it doesn't weigh my lashes down. Now I'm taking a lighter and heating up my lash curler. You can also use a blow dryer if you don't have a lighter. Make sure you touch it to ensure that it's not too hot. And then with one hand, I'm holding up my hooded eyelid and then the other hand, I'm going right to the base of my lashes and curling it. I'm going to curl the base, the middle of the lashes, and also the tip of the lashes. It's not curled enough, so I'm going again the second time, and curling it again. And voila, that's so much better. For lashes, I'm going with the brand ABG Lashwear in the style Sashimi Mimi. And taking my duo lash glue, I'm applying that to the entire lash band, like so. And then I'm waving it around to make sure it gets sticky or tacky. Tilting my head back and looking down a mirror, I'm lining up my false lashes. Once aligned, make sure you press it in so it sticks onto your eyelid. And then I like to lift my false lashes up so that it flares up instead of drooping downwards. 
See the before and after? Ooh, I love it! For the lips, I'm taking the lip liner from Urban Decay in the shade called Liar and I'm going to take that and just line my lips. Then I'm taking the Patrick Ta Lip Cream in the shade She's Independent and applying that to the center of my lips. And then I'm taking my finger and blending the lip cream into the lip liner so that it fades nicely. Now I'm just taking my foundation or you can use concealer and I'm just cleaning the mistakes I made on the outside of the lip line. And lastly, take your setting spray and spritz a few times all over your face to complete the final look. And there you go. What do you think? I hope you try some of these tips. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!